Ever wanted to be invisible? We might be closer than you think. All right, admit it, all of us at some point in our lives have wanted to be invisible, and this desire goes back a long way. Look at the Greek myth about Perseus, who used invisibility to defeat the monster Medusa. Skip ahead a couple thousand years and characters from Harry Potter to Smeagol. Precious. Uh, have used invisibility in a very similar way, and it's not a big surprise. I mean, invisibility represents power and freedom and lack of accountability. But today, researchers, scientists, engineers, they're working on real, non-magical ways to make objects invisible. One approach is just to make the forward-facing side of you look like whatever happens to be behind you. In the wild, we see this with critters like the crazy octopus that have natural camouflage, which makes me think, hey, the CIA once experimented with making pigeons spies, but just imagine what would happen if you made an octopus a spy. Uh, but more on topic, I think, you know, human skin doesn't do that. But maybe we could create a technological optical camouflage system. Well, there's some people who are working on just that. They created a retro reflective material. It kind of looks like a movie theater screen. So imagine you've got an entire outfit made of this stuff. Behind you, you have a rear facing camera capturing high quality footage and feeding it to a projector in front of you. The projector projects an image directly onto that retro reflective outfit you're wearing and voila, invisibility. See, researchers have been playing with this and it's pretty cool, but it has big drawbacks. The big one <laughs> being that you have to carry a lot of stuff with you, cameras, projectors, computers, even more if you want to cover more than just the one angle. So what if we looked at something else like Metamaterials. Metamaterials are tiny artificial structures built in the lab. You don't find them in nature, and that's a good thing because you don't want to be bumping into an invisible cactus or an invisible bear. When light strikes a normal piece of matter, let's say a bear, or a bear with octopus arms, photons will strike that substance and scatter, and some of them will bounce back and hit photosensitive cells in your eyes, which sends information to your brain. That information might be, holy cow, there's a bear with octopus arms over there, and he looks really angry. So imagine you are there, 20 feet away. Octo bear is right there, but Fortunately, you're wearing your metamaterial cloaking device. Now, in this case, the light will hit the metamaterial and bend around it, kind of the way water bends around a rock in a river. This isn't even camouflage, this is actual invisibility. Awesome, right? Okay, there are a couple of drawbacks. You knew this part was coming. For one thing, metamaterials really just work with microwave radiation, not visible light. The two are similar in a lot of ways, but visible light has a much shorter wavelength, and that makes it harder to manipulate. But this technology will still allow us to improve upon stuff we use today, like radio towers. We can make them invisible to each other, which would cut down on interference during transmissions. Or that optical camouflage device I talked about, you could turn that around and make a system that eliminates blind spots and vehicles. I've got a question for all of you. What instance of invisibility in fiction is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure you hit like and subscribe to our channel, join all of my buddies, and hey, check out these videos over here. They're out of sight.